What's up, everybody? XYZ back at it again, bringing you another Back to Basics tutorial, this time for a super simple semi-automatic wool farm. In total, it has a 5x5x17 five by five by footprint, but when you consider the fact that it can hold up to 16 sheep, that's one of each color, it's actually quite space efficient. There are three main features which allow this farm to complete its task while remaining compact, convenient, and let's face it, kinda cute. First, it uses clever placing of transparent blocks to keep some grass out of reach so that it can spread beneath the sheep's feet, ensuring that they always have a fresh supply to eat. Next, it uses two water streams on a smart timer, allowing just enough time for all of your precious wool to get flushed down the tubes every time. And finally, all of the redstone used to accomplish this is minimal and easy to understand. For the sake of this tutorial, I've divided it into three segments. Redstone, grass platforms, and enclosure. Here's everything you're going to need for this project, so go ahead and pause the video here if you'd like to gather the materials. Just keep in mind that you're going to need dispensers, not droppers. Also, you can switch out these five materials for any similar block to achieve your desired style. The first step is always to clear the area in which you want to build. So let me just hit this button right here and let the command blocks... Whoa! Uh... Start right where you want your chest to be. Knock out two blocks. Put down your chest. Now hold shift to direct the hopper into that chest. Count one, two, three blocks over. Knock out a block there. And one, two, three, four behind. And then one, two, three, four to the right, just like so. Now you can put your redstone dust here, here, and here with your comparators facing away at first and then back toward the front going into this block right here. Knock out a block here with a repeater. It's important that you make this an air block or a transparent block so that your upward facing sticky piston does not get powered. Now just place a slime block on top of that and a redstone block there and I can put a couple furnaces like this, one like this, and one like this so that when that slime block moves up and down those blocks will not get dragged with it. Now just go to either side, place one, two, three, four, five blocks with one up at a diagonal like so. You can go ahead and put your redstone dust over the top there and just hold shift to place that redstone dust on top of the furnace. And now as you can see, whenever this repeater updates the block next to the piston, we get a very quick pulse in the redstone dust there to the right. Now just mirror the same thing on the other side and the redstone portion of this build is 100% complete. Just got to put down our redstone dust, hold shift, and it's all done. Now to begin the grass platforms, just start at the chest and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks out. Go back and to the right, place two more just like so, and then bring your grass all the way back to the center. Don't forget to replace the block directly behind your hopper, and now you're ready to fill this entire 7x2 area with grass blocks. Now we're going to need to provide some light so that the grass will begin to spread underneath the transparent blocks. So you can place any kind of light block here. That includes glowstone, sea lanterns, or even jack-o'-lanterns. Once you've done that on both sides, we can fill in the rest of the empty spaces with stairs, which will allow the grass to spread underneath them. Now your platform should look something like this, but we want a space for our button, so I need to count one, two, three blocks over, put down a solid block, and then I can put my button on that block there. And of course I need something to cover my chest so that our water doesn't flow out, so I can just stand here and place an upside down stair just like that, which will allow me to access the chest easily. Place a water source block two blocks behind that, and now your grass platforms are complete. To begin the enclosure, go to each corner and create a four block pillar. Now create two pillars in the center of equal height. Next, connect the pillars at the top to create a frame. Then, use any block to fill in the empty spaces of the frame to create a wall with the dispenser in the corner. And don't forget about your water buckets. You'll need to place a couple extra blocks to keep the sheep from being washed into the water stream. Optionally, you can use fence posts to create the appearance of a guardrail. It should take one light source in the center of each side to light the entire enclosure. Finally, place half slabs along the top and bottom of the front window to keep the sheep inside. Now with shears in hand, you won't ever have to worry about putting 16 different colors of wool into a chest again. Just hit the button and everything's done for you. You can even run the hopper into a sorting system to sort out every color of wool. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. 
If you'd like to see more Animal Farm tutorials, click the video on the left. If you'd like to see how I use this design and others in my Let's Play, click the video on the right. Well, XYZen out. I'll see you guys next time.